This is Jerome Cambry with Vimed. Today we want to show you how to perform inverse ratio ventilation on the Vivo 50. So the first thing we need to do is to turn the unit on. And you'll notice that it says ventilator on standby. We want to press that button right there and we get perform pre-use test. We want to click yes. And then we're just gonna follow the prompts. Connect the patient circuit. Patient shall not be connected. As you can see, we do not have our test lung set up. So we're gonna press okay. So the unit has recognized that we have an exhalation valve. We've got a, what we've got here is a single limb circuit with exhalation valve. Is that correct? Yes. So now we're just gonna follow the prompts. Make sure that the complete patient circuit configuration is connected. Patient shall not be connected. Make sure that nothing is blocking the end of the circuit. Press okay. Block the end of the patient circuit. Press okay. And as you'll see, we passed our test. Again, press OK. So now what we want to do is go into our mode. And you'll see that since we're doing inverse ratio ventilation, we want to be in a ventilation mode pressure. And we want our breath mode to be in the assist control in this case. Again, this is gonna be in a hospital setting, so we're gonna keep the device mode clinical. And we're gonna to go to setup now. So, we need to start with our inspiratory pressure. Uh, I'm gonna start with a pressure of 28. I'm gonna go down from six to five on my PEEP. I'm gonna leave the rate at 12. Now, here is where we need to adjust eye time in order to uh, manipulate the ventilator so that we can do inverse ratio ventilation. You'll notice underneath eye time, it's gonna give us an IDE calculation. So this is at one and a half to one, meaning my IDE is one and a half times longer. My inspiration is one and a half times longer than my exhalation. So I'm gonna start there you know, and depending on how the patient's doing, you know, we can manipulate these settings to get closer to a two to one, maybe if necessary. But I'm gonna start there. Uh, I've got my rise time at six. I'm gonna leave my inspiratory trigger at three. We're gonna leave our target volume off for now, and you can see our max pressure, min pressure is the same as what we said earlier at 28. So now I want to press this button here to start treatment. You have to hold it. So now I'm gonna go into my monitor so I can look at some of my values. One of the main things you want to keep an eye on when you're doing inverse ratio ventilation is your mean airway pressure. So our goal here today is to make sure we keep that below 20. So you can see currently, we're getting a mean pressure of 18.5. With the current settings that we have, our tidal volume is showing 331. So what I want to do is I want to get a little bit more of a tidal volume while still being mindful of my mean airway pressure. So I'm going to go back into setup and I'm going to go up to an inspiratory pressure of 29. I'm going to go back to my monitor and see where I'm at. So my tidal volume now is showing 375. 
My main airway pressure is at 19.1. Gonna go back into the setup menu. I'm gonna increase that pressure to, to 30. Go back into the monitor. So now we're getting tidal volumes of 473, uh, 471. And our mean airway pressure is at 19.5. So I'm satisfied, this is where I wanna stay. Like I said, I wanna make sure that my mean airway pressures are below 20 in this case. You know, obviously when you use inverse ratio ventilation, you're gonna be dealing with a patient that is uh, sedated and paralyzed because obviously, you know, somebody's body cannot tolerate this type of ventilation otherwise. So that is inverse ratio ventilation on the Vivo 50.